Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm here today to crack on with my butterfly junk journal. Uh, if you are a new subscriber, welcome. And if you haven't seen this, there is a playlist which I've got linked below. And it shows me making the cover, starting to choose pages. Uh, I've got tutorials on how to make some of these pocket pages. And all these are the little bits of ephemera you're going to see. So I've been making the butterfly ephemera for ooh, perhaps about a month. Right, so today I'll update you on what I've done without you, which is not a lot really. I've made a cover page that I want to use. And I've used a page from this book. If you watch Joey Defee, she showed you this book yesterday. Her favourite book apparently, and it's mine too. It's a Victorian flower album by Henry Terry. I love it because, yeah... The pages are landscape. You can do you can just do so much with them. They're good for pages, ephemera. If you can bear to cover one side up, you can mat and layer them. <laughs> anyway, I've chose that page. It has I've just simply in fact I'll take the other bit out. I've simply took the book page, I've cut a little bit off the bottom to make it was it eight inches we're doing this or eight and a quarter, I'll tell you eight and a quarter inches and I've just folded it over in the right place to cover the signature I'm not even going to do anything with that uh, I, I, well I am I'm going to do something but not anything that alters the page all I'm going to do is I'm going to make some altered paper clips I may make it out of existing ephemera and I want one there because a I want to cover up Mr Dragonfly is it Dragonfly no is a we call them daddy long legs. Are they crane crane flies? That's what they are. I've made some of these in a previous video. I think I want to turn that into an altered paper clip that will cover him up. Yeah, and then we'll have one at the other side. Then you can just tuck anything you want up in that page. It's like a little hidey hole, isn't it? So I think that's the plan for that. So, yeah, that's all I've done. I've decided where to put my pages. I don't think I've put any pages in that I didn't show you. That's the magnetic flippy flap page. We've just got to listen to it. A cover. All I've done is I've folded it in half. I've got a bit of wrinkling on my fabric. It's not stressing me, which is weird. And I've cut down around the edge. You can see where the card is in the centre. I've just cut to a half an inch, half a inch. Why do I always want to say hinge when I've said half? Half an inch all the way around, yeah. So that's the cover. I will be putting some lace on the cover. In fact, while I'm telling you what we're going to do, I'll show it, yeah. This is some I bought accidentally from AliExpress, but it's one of those happy accidents. When I bought it, I'll show you what I thought it was. I thought I was just getting some more of a lace I'd used before. And when it came, it was just so much thicker it went through. I thought it was this size lace. If you can see the pattern, it's it's really similar. I thought, oh, that just looks a bit wider than what I've already got. Yeah, a bit wider. I didn't look at size. Why would I look at size? It's more than double wider, but I thought, ooh, that will make fabulous pockets. And I have noticed that Tanya at Tatty Treasure has made a pocket out of some of this. Yeah. You so if you wonder why we sometimes have the same stuff, that's because we shop together. <laughs> we're on WhatsApp together. Oh, have you seen this? Oh, have you seen that? So yeah, we're not copying each other. We quite often shop together, so we end up with the same stuff. Just do different things with it. So yeah, that's going to be a pocket, and I want it on the outside because it's so pretty. And I'm going to make my closure out of this thinner lace. And because that top, it's a very open weave lace and that could go a little bit baggy, I'm thinking. I'm going to put that along there. Just took that out of the way. Pretend we've cut it off and it all looks neat. I'm going to sew that along the pocket. It will then get sewn down there. Yeah, so it's not going to be flapping in wind. It will get sewn down there. And that's going to be... The top to the pocket and the closure for the journal. Um, I'm still pondering that one, yeah, because I'm not sure if it's going to be strong enough there. We'll see. If that doesn't end up being the closure, it's definitely going to be 
put along the top of that lace yeah I need to ruminate on that one a little bit longer so that's what we're doing then we can hang danglies off this lace on front it's going to be gorgeous and we'll make some kind of statement butterfly piece for the front I would like to have used that but I made it too small it would look a bit lost in there wouldn't it it might go as a second piece I could make a writing board and tuck that in that's an idea make a writing board with a paper clip on to tuck in the front pocket I'm on it so if I forget remind me because I'm likely to forget I've said that I think I watch my own videos more than anyone on YouTube just to remind myself of what I've said right crack on you've gone into major waffle mode woman yeah and as far as the inside goes for a change I'm just gonna stick a pocket on some kind of card pocket Ooh, yeah I don't normally do that I may use one of these existing ephemera pieces we shall see right cracking on so we know what's happening on page one yeah so what I'm doing is I've decided we're going to use those two they're going in this box to turn into altered paper clips which we will be doing today right that page doesn't need a thing I just love it it's that gorgeous handmade paper with some leaf and flower inclusions right this page I was supposed to sew it and I'd forgot so hmm, naughty woman oh yeah we're pondering what could go in there that I think it's I love the colour but it's too small so that's going to get sewn so we're going to go back to the notebook method to remind us what we're going to do in the journal so I'm going to grab a notebook I've got a notebook specifically for this purpose I just haven't really I haven't had to use it for a while because I've not made a lot of journals so let's grab I used this when I did my Edith Holden one if you remember so we are putting paper clips front and back page front and back page yeah we need to sew pink butterfly page yeah check i think that will look okay in there also with a piece of paper ephemera and add paper ephemera you know like a receipt or a letter or something like that oh i know lorna at tailor-made journals has got some fabulous digitals like that yeah it might have a squint over there right this is staying as is I just love how it covers up those butterflies and they just reveal them right this we need something on there so I did make some paper clusters I've tried to organize all my ephemera that I made around me so I can see it and I'm covering it up already right here's one that one I think is too tall oh we made the little circle ones oh look at that one that could be cute oh that one's even cute I like that one I do like that one I'm gonna put that one on I like it I don't want a bigger one oh I'm at it already I'm gonna put that one on it doesn't matter that it sticks up further than the page that doesn't belong on it by the way so yeah I'm gonna put that one on I'm not gonna put glue where my finger is and I'm gonna put glue from there downwards am I going off camera again do you know I've got that much stuff under my desk I'm sitting further away from my desk than I usually do I didn't get round to doing the big craft room declutter over at school holidays I just don't I don't think I'd got back up to full energy after my Covid jab my second one the kids were tired because they weren't used to being at school for a full half term <laughs> it's the first time it's happened this year so I think they just needed a rest yeah I'm gonna pop him there I like him there so yeah that's that page and we need to look for something to put in I'm thinking I think that one's too short that needs a bigger page all of its own so again all these I've got listed below they're all in the butterfly junk journal playlist that's nice 
yeah I think I like that in there yeah so that's going to go there put those back yeah I've got I've gone way to oh what's this one oh I've just changed my mind now look at that I like that better yeah sorry right what's going on this side we've got another pocket right, we need something again on that pocket do I want to make a pocket in a pocket with this I don't know what made me pick that playing card up no it doesn't belong there I think I just want one of my larger clusters on here again like I did over the page so how many of these have we got I've got a really large one here I think that one might be too large yeah definitely too large oh we've got these little pockets I made on Friday no that doesn't live there what's this one again I think that one's too large to go on that or is it no it's not the right colour not for this page what else have we got I don't want to use another one of those look at that I forgot I'd even made that I made that quite a while back in a take five challenge I made the envelope to a fold out fully that's gorgeous yeah I don't know whether it's the right match it could go nicely with this page oh yeah that could what have we got over there that might look really nice clipped onto there yeah we've just flipped forward two pages but I'm very flippity flibbity jibbity when I'm decorating my junk journals normally I will look at a page decide what I need to make and make it but I've gone totally the opposite way with this one I've made a lot of the ephemera and now I'm fitting it to the journal I honestly don't know which way I prefer Ooh, what about these these lace ones oh I think I could do a lace one I've just got to decide on the colour of the butterfly I'm thinking this one might look good can you see him there there it's going to be him I've chosen grab my scissors I've got some other scissors out because my Tim Holtz ones were a bit sticky so that's exactly how they were designed when I made them well not designed it's not like I designed them made them up that was my idea so you just cut them off and use them as and when and I like that I'm just going to put glue on it under where the card is I don't mind that it's not stuck down on the edges I quite like that I've got a bit of blue fluff there but it's going to get covered up it's going to be safe for posterity this bit of blue fluff under a butterfly <laughs> I do talk absolute rubbish sometimes but do you know what we can't be serious all the time can we <sighs> I like him do I put him at no he wants to go straight the things on it are at an angle the lace itself needs to go straight so that's that I like that on there pretty happy with that don't know what's ding dong in there so that's that page and something to go in it would this go nice in there oh I think it might do is it going to make that page a bit thick I don't know do you know I think I want that one in a pocket I think we're going to we're going to save it for the front like I said see I'd forgot that already dozy woman right let's grab some of these other big tags oh we could put one of these in oh I like that oh that's lovely perfect I know it's sideways but it don't matter the lace matches we've got a greeny butterfly yeah that were made for that pocket and it holds it closed with it going in that way yeah there's nothing in that one it's just blank for journaling yeah that's that right nothing to do with those right here we go this needs a paper clip to hold that on and I'm feeling it needs a dingly dangly paper clip so I'm going to grab my jar oh dear I'm no I'm going to wreck the craft room I've knocked my pen pot over uh, I'm just going to pause
Right, welcome back to my chaos. Yeah, look at the size of this pen pot. It came with some pens I bought kids for school and I thought, ooh, that's going to be a fab pen pot. Trouble is, it's too wide and it doesn't really fit on the little box I keep it on. I keep knocking it off, so... Yeah, I might have to find a new home for that anyway. Stop waffling. I've got my dangle jar. And I know I've got some in a colour that will look fab on here. Because I can see them. I love just emptying these out. What's that say? It says this and that. But this is the one I'm after. Ooh, that. I think that would be lovely. On there. I'm going... I'm not having this uh, journal all matchy-matchy all the way through. I want this journal to be... We may have a different colour theme on a different page. And then all the dangles I'm going to stick on the edges, they're going to be different colours as well. And I'm going to enjoy it. So, I've grabbed a paper clip for that. So, is there even room to put a paper clip on this envelope? It being so intricate, we'll do it that way round, shall we? Or that way. I tend to think I want that cluster somewhere near the edge. So I'm going to put the paper clip at the top, I think. Oh, yeah. And then we will fit that on. I don't know when, so that's going in my to-do box. And I'm going to write, attach dangle blue page. And I'm writing full words because last time I did this on camera, I abbreviated too much. And couldn't read some of it. So that was no good, was it? Attach dangle on blue page, so that will be that, yeah? And again, we can just tuck things in there and hide them. Right, this page, it needs some stamping. Yeah. So again, I'm going to put stamp next to blue page. Stamp next to blue page. Next blue page. Yeah. The other side, it's that gorgeous magnetic page. Oh, don't you just love it? On. <laughs> I won't do it again. Not yet. Not till I've put something in it. So I'll just move my notebook to one to this side. Out of my way. And let's have another rummage in this little box of goodies. Ooh. That is not got a butterfly on, but I just like it got more clusters but we don't want those in here i'm just looking for some journal cards and tags to put inside oh that were a little notebook i did make and didn't decorate and i thought that might end up in here hmm i think we need to look at these larger ones i'm not sure they're the right color scheme for in here i may have to do a its own custom sized journal card. It needs a large one, doesn't it? I think it does. Yeah. We need to make a journal card and a bookmark there. That would that hold? I'm not sure. Yeah, we need to make something for there. So that's going on the list as well. Journal card magnetic page. Magnet page. There you go. All right, I'm getting a bit scrawly. Right, to these belly bands I made. <laughs> I made a couple and I made them longer than I probably needed because I didn't know when I made them what size the journal was going to be that I put them in. And I'm thinking I want one on one of these plain book pages. The question is, do I want it that side or do I want it that side? I'm going to have to cut quite, I may lose a butterfly on this. But I could take that bit off where it says cart and start it there. And that would perhaps be just perfect, wouldn't it? But I don't know if I want it facing that page. What's the other side of this looking like? Oh, that's it. Sorted, it's going there. So yeah, I'm going to cut it off at the top of that ticket there. And then that's going to be a perfect belly band. So grab your scissors again, missy. Just gonna cut it like that so the actual ticket 
will be the top of the don't cut the butterfly wing off yeah that will be the top i made it on an old yeah real bus tickets that could then pop somewhere else so that's that and that's that i'm not worried that it sticks out a little bit above and below the page i'm gonna leave it like that yeah it's enclosed within the journal it's enclosed within the cover I don't want to lose any of that top and bottom so no I'm not worrying about that I'm gonna grab some glue just go across top and bottom I'm keeping my glue sideways so I don't have to wait for it to filter down and I'm just going to take it out of here while I pop it on because I don't want to cause any damage. I'll grab a piece of label backing that I've always got, put it that way so it's not too shiny woman and it's going there isn't it. I find it easy sometimes to line a belly band up by turning the page that way. I just do. Is that straight? It's not really. Oh, we're getting there. That's better. Wipe up any extra glue. Let's make sure I've got none there. I don't want it to go onto this page. No, there's no glue. And I'll pop it back in, see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So that's that belly band in. Now let's go back to where we came from because we've missed loads out. So what else do I want on this page? I think I might want some kind of permanent flippy flap. We've got a flippy flap there aren't we so we could have a flippy flap there what could I make as a flippy flap oh we've got these oh that is rather large isn't it oh I do love that though I'm tempted to put that in there oh Ooh, yeah the magnet still holds and it fits that's it that's going in there so do you know what? I'm going to cross that off my list. Do, do a journal card for magnet page. Crossed off list because we've got it done. That's it. Sorted. Here. I could do some stamping on that page, I suppose. I'm going to do it. Yeah, so let's put that down. Stamp next to magnet page. There you go. So that's going to have some stamping on. Right, this. This definitely needs something on. Do I want to stamp? Do I want to stencil? Do I just want to put... What I really want to do is put some of this on again. Would I fit two on? No. What about this lace one I've made in a previous thing? I did back it with white lace. Oh, but I think it looks good. Especially with that page next to it being lighter. But it's which section do we use? That's always the... I think it has to be... I don't like cutting butterflies in half. That's the problem with me and these. I think I want that section there. Yeah. So let's go to that section. So we might as well glue that one in, in while we're here. I'm going to slide it over and cut it next to the page so I get it straight-ish. We're not looking for perfection, we're looking for straight-ish. <laughs> That's so not straight. That is about as straight as a donkey's iron leg. Which is not very straight at all. Might have to trim a bit extra off that. So I'll move that out of the way and that. Put that back. Yeah, 
quite like that on there and it's straight you know I'm gonna have to cut some off there though because I don't want it to interfere with that page closing and turning while I'm cutting off there I might as well straighten that one up she says that's fine we don't need to do out to it then she starts chopping it to pieces yeah that's going on there like that so again I'm using my tacky glue just gluing behind where the cardstock is the lace won't be going anywhere because it's glued to the back of the cluster and to the page now Oh yeah, I like that. I think when we've got stuff in there, I don't think it even needs anything on that bit. Put it back in where it goes. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we need to pop something in these pockets. We've got a bit of blue on, haven't we? Do you know, I've made these that are very glittery and I don't even know if I'm going to put them in the journal. They might be a bit too glittery, or might they not? Might it even look good in there? Ooh, because we've got all sorts of colours on there, haven't we? I think I could like that. Maybe. I could like that one better. Ooh. We'll provisionally put that one in there. I'm not sure it might get moved. And I want a larger journal card for the back. So let's have a rummage again. What will that look like? Oh, that does look nice. Yeah, it's done. That's how it is. It's done. Done, done, done. So let's turn over. I'm just going to leave that for journaling. Now this needs some collaging on. I'm not going to do it this video. I'm just going to write on my list, collage bag. There we go. That's as it is. Again, I don't... Once we've got the badge co bag collaged, I'm going to put a pocket there on the bag. So, I don't think that may need anything else. Maybe if we put a pocket and something like that on it. Mm. we'll see on that one so that's all going to come under the head in collage that bag right this is a perfect page for clipping something to with a paper clip so what can we clip to that or what about one of these have i made these too wide to fit like so i have answer but it would fit on the top that would be nice. Just fitting on the top and held in with another paper clip there. So let's remember we've got two altered paper clips, one front and back. Ooh, that needs a little bit more glue on that edge. Just pop a bit on while we're here. So yeah, we could clip that and we've got these other little ones that go over the page. I think it's going to have to be one of those. I'm just going to pop a regular paper clip on that. What have I got in here that might look good? Well, that's not a paper clip, that's a pin. So yeah, I'm just going to pop that there and I'll just write on my list make paper clip. Make paper clip. Right. That's not going there. That's got to be left as it is for journaling because it's lined. And this, ooh, this might be a good place to pop another one of these. Mm, it's so thick it's bagging the pocket out. Maybe I need something thinner. That's trouble sometimes. You might call this gorgeous ephemera and if it's too thick, it can interfere with your pockets when you put it in. So you just find somewhere different. No, that's a tag. That's a downwards tag woman. Why did you even try that? I 
think that might need some paper ephemera in it. So paper ephemera for, I'm going to call it the music pocket. Paper ephemera. Music pocket. You know it's now music pocket, but it's next to music pocket. Right, middle. So we've got, ah, we've got another pocket there. So we need something for that. This one, I think we could, yeah. Hmm. Do you know when you look at first and you think you've got so much ephemera you're not going to fit it all in? Then when you start putting it in you realise it's not that much after all. Oh, I like that. But not there. That might look good just clipped on there. That would look lovely just clipped on there. And you could take it off to right and pop it back on. No one says we have to use the paper clips on the edge all the time, do they? Do we? So it's got a little bit of gold glitter on that as well. That brings a little bit more glitter back into my project. Just going to grab a paper clip and pop it on as it is. So I wouldn't decorate it too much here in the middle. So yeah, that's going there. That needs something on it. Again, not sure what. We could make a side pocket with something like this. I have got a piece that goes downwards. Just not long enough. Just the butterflies are spread out just that bit too much. Could we ruffle it? No, I don't like that idea. We could just make a nice pocket with one of those. You could just do anything you want, really. I was watching Tim Alts yesterday. He was talking about collage. It was so funny about <laughs> you decide where the right place is to put something if you look at it after and think is that the wrong place no it's not the wrong place because you've already put it there where you wanted to put it in your heart so that makes it the right place and i thought yeah that is an attitude i think we all need to adopt isn't it and stop looking at other people's and thinking it's better or nicer or yeah oh they put it in a better place than i did no they didn't they put it somewhere different not somewhere better so yeah, I'm with you on that one, Timothy. Right. I don't know what to do with that page. I've discovered I need some more long tags. We need more long tags for this journal. So I need to have a long tag making session. We've got a lot of side pockets. I've got, a, I've got the belly band. That's another side pocket. We've not got many bottom, ooh, 2021, yeah. Let's throw that in a jar. <laughs> oh, we've got a down pocket there, haven't we? We've got a down pocket there. So these props going to look really nice in there. That's too small for there. We need some larger tags and we need some longer tags. So I'm going to be on that. That will make us another video, won't it? Oh, look at one of these bag pockets. Oh, wow. Should we put one of those in? Even though it's not got a butterfly on. I'm thinking that neat. I'm going to come right back over here. I've put blue next to that. So I don't like that in the, on that page. But that's a really stiff, robust page that would hold that nicely. So what else have we got? We could pop it on there. Yeah, this look, this is one of these. You open it up. Oh, it's got goodies inside. I just love it. Because my fear with these is over time it will just bag open, yeah? So if I put it near the edge of a page, we can always pop a paper clip on to keep it closed. Mind you, we could put the paper clip on that side. Let's go right back to where we started. The paper clip could go on that side, couldn't it? It could. So I'm going to keep that one in there as a thought. I'm not sure. Again, I don't want to do anything with these little pages. They're just so interesting. I popped him in there, but I'm not sure he's the right fit for there. Yeah. I'm discovering there's a lot of things with this journal that... By making me ephemera without thinking of the journal, a lot of the ephemera is not what I would want for the journal if that makes any sense whatsoever 
So I've st I'm still going to have to make more ephemera, even though I've got all that ephemera made, because it doesn't go how I want it to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could put some of it there, but I don't want it. It's not that it's unloved. I think I need to make another journal. <laughs> well, yeah, more journals. Yeah. But I, th I think getting the stamps out and doing some stamping on this is going to completely transform it. So there you have it. That's what's happening with the butterfly journal. And look, it's already getting pretty chunky. So I think I need to make some thinner tags as well. Yeah, it still just fits inside its cover, which is going to be good. But it's amazing how quickly a journal gets chunky, isn't it? When you start putting that thick ephemera in. So I'm going to go to town with some stamps and some stencils. So I'm going to come back with a video just stamping and stenciling and then we'll have another go at popping embellishments in. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's, it's just been a bitty batty video, what's occurring, what we're going to do. Yeah, and a little insight into how my mind works when I'm deciding how to fill my journals. So I'll go away and do that sewing. And yeah, that's all I need to do off camera really, isn't it? Yeah, we're happy with a lot of it. I need to do more for some other parts of it. So thank you very much for watching me. And yeah, I'll see you again very soon. Bye.